Hey, 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 it's your boy, A. Bull Carter. Welcome to another award-winning edition of Urban Grind TV. Got a special guest in the building with me. And you already know we had these type of guests in the building. We dig deep. Let him introduce himself to y'all, man. See what's going on. Man, what's going on, y'all? Urban Grind. It's your man, DJ Q. I'm up here vibing with Bug right now. So appreciate y'all having me on today, for sure. Okay. You know, it is Urban Grind, right? Like, we get real busy. So what you're not going to do is talk to our audience with that little small library light skin voice. You better get busy like when you be up there DJing on the ones and twos. You don't sound like that when you DJ, do you? Nah, oh, man, not at all. Not at all. Right, be comfortable with our peoples, man. They here to learn what's up with you, man. So give them some of your backstory, you know what I'm saying? We got you into DJing. Oh, man, so I'm a, like I said, I'm from Chicago. Grew up in the southwest suburbs. Been doing music. Started doing the music when I was like 11. Got grown, was like, yeah, maybe this might not work. <laughs> uh, just wanted to do something different. Instead of being in a vibe, I wanted to set the vibe. And that's what pretty much pushed me to get behind the scene and, you know, just kind of take that direction and, um, you know, giving you a movie when you're partying. I usually ask a question about, you know what I'm saying, the willpower when people show that they have, like, hobbies, you know what I'm saying, like how we have, you know what I'm saying? But you had already displayed that in your sentence, like, you know, you gave it a try and you felt like, you know what I'm saying, it wasn't where it was at. Can you dissect that moment, you know what I'm saying, that made you feel like, ah, oh, this ain't where it's at? And then kind of elaborate on what brought you back to it. So, yeah, probably like in my early 20s, man. I just, you know, I was kind of feeling I wanted to go a different direction and just, you know, the, it was the, 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 the scene was changing with a lot of different artists and I felt like I couldn't find my way for that. So I was like, I'm going to step back and rather be the one to push it, let's push the music. You know what I mean? And just, you know, like I said, create a whole vibe and set the scene for other artists to break ways and, you know, do their thing. That's what's up. So, like, it's a lot of juggernauts, I like to call them DJs, you know what I'm saying? Especially, like, in this Midwest area. And it's a lot of them that has a reach with the industry, you know what I'm saying? And I'm, I'm proud to say that because the Midwest, you know what I'm saying, is, is a very, very talented pool in the United States. But sometimes I feel like they take from us and they go to other places. So by you being a DJ coming up in the Midwest, you know what I'm saying, like what are some of the angles that you're trying to shoot and like what's the mark you're trying to make into it? Because it's like a juggernaut sport when it comes to DJing. So many of them, right? So like how do you plan on, you know what I'm saying, bringing your vibe to the table and standing out? My thing is I just want to put on for my city. And that's the thing, all different versatile artists, just artists in general. Like we get a big name of Chicago, get the hottest, but we just have to push it. We got to stay a movement. We got some of the biggest and the baddest of all time that came out of here. And we just got to keep the momentum going. And whatever way I could do to show and prove for any artist, I'm for that. Because you never know who the next big thing until you put them on there. Let the city decide on what we're going to do. I'm with you. I'm going to play a little game real quick, right? So you DJing, you, you already there. We're going to speak it into existence. We at the United Center, right? You get to pick a headliner, and you get to pick a closer. Now, you being a DJ, who would you pick to open up your show, and who would you pick to close your show? Mm, we talk about man, just anybody? Anybody. Anybody. Man, after what I just heard today, to open up my show, I'm going Juno to open up. No, he's going to close out my show. Juno's going to close out my show. Yeah, yeah, Juno is going to close out my show, and to open up. Man, to open, I would. <sighs> Man, it's, it's yeah. Right, right, right. To to open, I go with baby. That's what's up. I go with baby. We, we can Which open one? up. Cause they got two syllables in front of their name. One's dub, one's love. Nah, I'm, let one do. They can do one song each. Let's go. <laughs> Just split it up between the two. That's yeah. So you got any coming shows, you know what I'm saying, that's coming up that you want to drop to the people? I'm actually, um, I'd catch, you could catch me out at the Public Lead out in Harvey. Um, I'm going to be at the Voodoo Lounge uh, next Thursday on the 3rd, kicking off um, off-the-wall karaoke night. We're going to do a tribute to MJ because, you know, that's his city. So definitely catch me there, man. Just follow my, you know, IG and catch me while I'm going. Speaking of that, man, you look right there and let everybody know where they can follow you on all your platforms because they got to get in tune with you, man. Sure. So y'all can all follow me at uh, Yo DJQ on IG, Q Hampton on Facebook, and um, just like I said, Catch a, catch the stories And you'll know Week by week Where I'm gonna stay Come down and catch This vibe with me That's what's up man It's your boy A. Bull Carter Rocking with DJQ This is another Award winning edition Of Urban Grind TV Hey Hey, hey yo It's your man DJQ And you now watching Urban Grind TV Get in tune